Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael here with Josh Irvin again, ready to go interview the female species. Now, I'm not quite sure if they left their cave door open. If it is, it will be a truly rare sight to see them in the natural habitat. We are going to be going after the elusive Crater Robinoceros, who is known for attacking young critters. It's it's actually quite quite incredible to see it happen the way the way she seduces the the younger male versions of herself and, and just draws them in. The other creature we'll be going after is Littlefoot. It, it is a natural habitat of Asia, but it is over in North America now. It's it's been populated here for I don't even know how many years. Josh Irvin and I are ready to go. Are you ready, Josh? Yes, I'm ready, and I would like to add it has confusion about its ethnic origins, <laughs> which may cause some may cause some trouble. It may be aggressive with us. Okay. Here we go. We don't have to be quiet just yet because we haven't quite reached the cave. So, let's get walking. Now, the Hawkwood Turtle is still asleep, so we must be quiet when entering back into its habitat. Anyways, let's get going to the cave. This is when we must stop being very, very quiet because we do not want the Crater Robinoceros and Littlefoot to hear us sneaking up. Crying shame. Cave is not open. Obviously, neither of the two animals are home at this time. They live with two other species that are yet to be identified, which is it's mildly troublesome because well, we don't know what they're capable of. And as with any female species, if you get too close to them during their their, their breeding season or, or near their young, you, it's just going to set them off into a downhill spiral. Now, as you can see, the, the cave. It's not very well decorated here. Usually it's the male's job to decorate the cave. They have a few slabs of, of rock, I suppose that is. Um, oh, I, I believe I heard them cry. I may have heard something as well. It was a battle cry indeed. It might be getting a little bit too dangerous for Josh Irvin and myself to be here. But as you can see, it's a very, very crude door to the cave. I have a feeling that if we try to push the stone, it might open up. <laughs> we must back up. What we are doing is we are sending out the call to the two animals, actually the four of them, telling them that there are our visitors here, that, that we are announcing our presence so we do not come off as a threat. Let's see if we can get the attention once more. It sounds like there's some motion going on a bit. We might actually see one of these creatures. Oh god. It's not. Oh my gosh, are 